Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to be unboxing and installing a new air assist for our Atom Stack laser. So let's get to it. So thank you so much to Atom Stack for sending us this F30 V2 air assist. It's going to help us unlock the full capabilities of this laser while also adding the capability of an air assist. Okay, so here it is. Let's get it unboxed. All right, so here's what this air assist comes with. Obviously we have our air pump here, some silicone hosing, some zip ties to secure it, and then a power cable. Now, interesting about this one is obviously it's going to plug into the plug here, but this side is going to plug into our laser itself, that 12 volt output is. So the laser itself will power this air pump. The instruction manual is set up for a machine that has it integrated into the machine already. Ours is going to connect to the laser head itself right here. So there's not going to be any requirement to mount it to the machine anywhere outside of right here. And then giving our zip ties. Interesting here. The zip ties are connected together with a zip tie. <laughs> So right here is our 12 volt output from the machine so that the machine itself is going to power the pump. Before I actually connect this to the laser head, I actually want to see how strong is this pump. So let's go ahead and turn on the machine and get the pump turned on. It's zero strong. So we have the machine on and we've turned the pump all the way up and there's no airflow. It's not currently on right now. And I believe that's because this output here is actually controlled through Lightburn or your laser engraving software for the air assist. So really simple here is to turn air assist on in your settings so that the air pump only works when it's engraving, which that's an extra step we don't have to worry about. We don't have to turn this on and off like we've been used to with our other air pump. So this could be pretty cool. Let's see if it's the setting in Lightburn. Okay, so here in Lightburn, I'm going to go ahead and select to our Atom Stack machine. All right, so we're connected. And now let's go to our device settings. So here in our device settings, we want to make sure our air assist will turn on. Here's our air assist settings. The instructions say to turn on M8 or M7. Uh, we're going to leave it like this and we'll do a little uh, test engraving to see if the pump turns on while it's engraving. I'm just going to turn this basically to like nothing because I don't really actually want to engrave. I just want to see if the pump turns on. Okay, so when I hit start, this pump should turn on now. It's fully turned on. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So the air pump is turned on. All right, so when I stop it, the air pump should turn off. Awesome. So now our pump is 100% controlled by our motherboard here in the machine through our settings in Lightburn. So now let's go ahead and finish the process of setting this up. The added benefit here is this hose is gonna help us with this flopping cable because it will create just a little bit more that it has to hold up. Okay, now that we got everything hooked up, we're gonna go ahead and pull up our little test here. All right, so we pulled up our little test grid here that we used in the last test. And we're gonna see if five passes can actually cut through it now with the air assist. So just going to deselect our crosshairs because I don't need that, but we're gonna do this little test with the same exact settings as our first test, but this time with air assist.
Okay, so it's all done. Let's see if we have cut all the way through with five passes. Not quite. I could tell if I pulled on this, we would pull it away. But we're not quite there with five passes. But if you compare, we certainly are further than the other one. So let's try one more with six passes and see if we can make it through. All right, so that was six passes. Let's see. Oh no, still did not separate. Okay. All right, so here's our side-by-side -side comparison. And as we found out, there's really no cutting difference with an air assist versus not, at least for our laser setup here. And I think the real reason behind that has to do more with our focal length. So the laser itself may only be focused a certain amount down past the, the laser nozzle. And that may be why we can't seem to get you know, cleaner cuts all the way down through this half inch plywood because we did notice that after we kind of broke this apart, there's really no difference with five passes and six passes when it comes to how deep it goes. It almost gets to the other side with a five and it almost gets to the bottom here with six. So we're thinking here that the real reason behind this is our laser focus area may like start to unfocus down here at the very bottom, creating a basically where it can't cut down past that unless we move our nozzle down. So that being said, one thing we did notice, let me put this back together. I don't know why I wanna put this back together, but. What we did notice is our engravings and basically the top of our material is much cleaner on this one. We don't have nearly as much of this like smoke damage to the top of the wood that we do with this one. So that I think is uh, a key feature of having an air assist for this laser machine is it obviously it kind of cleans out the soot and makes it so that there's less of this like smoke damage to the top of it compared to with air assist. So this is without air assist and with air assist. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this test grid again, just the way we had this one set up. And we'll do another one to see if we get any different results with that engraving. I mean, not a whole lot of difference here. This one here, we have cut a little bit deeper out over here, but our little spectrum here is actually kind of very similar. And I would kind of expect that. But the added benefit of having air assist here is our lens is gonna stay a whole lot cleaner because it's gonna be blowing the soot out and away from the lens versus if with no air assist, the smoke and soot kind of goes up and can dirty our lens prematurely. So that's, I think, the real benefit of having air assist. Once again, a huge thanks to Adam Stack for sending us this air assist. We have noticed a few things about it. Yeah, a lot of pros here. One, it's really easy to set up and install. The airline itself actually helps hold the cables in the, the gantry, which is really nice. It kind of gets it off of our project. It's pretty quiet. And the most important feature that I like about it is that it automatically starts and stops. So you don't have to listen to your air assist constantly on, even though you're not engraving your project. Mm -hmm. One thing that I thought having the air assist installed would help it kind of cut the uh, material a little bit faster, but it doesn't actually do that. However, it does kind of create a cleaner surface when you engrave, so it doesn't have all that soot around your engraving project. And if you're interested in the laser or air assist we use today, they will be linked in the description if you want to check them out. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.